it would seem that Rockstar has lost it. They have shot themselves in the foot and seemingly have turned their back on their fans. Who really cares about what the workplace issue? What we want to know is when GTA 6 will come out. We don't need to know about what issues woke are happening. This politics is not helping anyone for anything. They have now joined others who have gone down this rabbit hole of political, political, whatever, and they have lost it. Take Two revealed literally nothing at its conference. And when I say literally nothing, they basically didn't talk much about games even. It was more like an industry panel discussion about work. Who to say that they will turn their back on their fans for this? What is in it for them? Will there be any guns because somebody is offended by guns? Or will there be any male characters or in the games at all? Will there be anything that will be... Or will they just turn and make mobile games for phones or completely upend everything? This is not the first time some developer or movie maker or game developer has done this. And it is sad to see that them do this and why they would want to do this. It doesn't make any sense to, to turn on your fans and to say that you have nothing to say but politics. And where does this leave half the population? They know the base that plays that their game. actually has been discussed by Rockstar is actually the current world situation and everything that we're going through. Now the Grand Theft Auto series as a whole has always been about mocking culture and current events inside the world in a fun and satirical way and it's been like that pretty much since the beginning. Now with the world, especially over the past couple of years, things have been changing so rapidly that Rockstar doesn't think, according to them in multiple interviews, they don't think that they're really able to go ahead and make a cohesive GTA story around the current political climate and also surrounding all of the current events that are going on. So where is it? What do they have to offer? They have nothing to offer here. We do not want this. If all the characters are female and there is none, no males because they have a new agenda, a new political. If the radio stations cannot have any homes or fun or humour because somebody, some snowflake will be offended. Where does this leave entertainment? This is more of the cancer that is coming out of Hollywood at this particular time. Where does this leave anyone with any hope that this or any other, if game developers will continue to do this, where does this leave us but only with the legacy of those previous games developed? So they are going down the woke rabbit hole. Where will this lead to? And what hope is there for anything, anything American? Will this become just another sad case of entertainment shooting itself in the foot, destroying anything good for the average person who is not part of some special interest group that they claim to represent and if this would do anything other than have them go out of business why would they seek to do this what do they have to gain from it it does not seem to make any sense at all to go this way why would they do this and it is sad to see this happen this means that there probably will not be a gta 6 because of the politics involved they could not maybe they will say that there is too many guns maybe they'll say that there is too many male characters or some other offend, offended group or a disapproving group that will not like what has been put forward. This is a sad case of politics destroying entertainment and it is the, 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 the worst of the worst that is happening. If you like the video, like and subscribe. Please hit the like button. This video is sponsored by nobody because we here at Jonovid are not in it for the money. Thank you.